got my boxy charm box in the mail and you know how I am like if I get it I have to open it even if I'm in my sleepwear okay I still have my makeup on because I literally just got home and it was on my doorstep I love good mail days I always say that but I love subscription services because I swear it's like Christmas on your doorstep once a month or four times a month if you're subscribed to um four different things like me it's it's a problem I'm I'm narrowing it down girls I'm really trying to figure out which one I love last month's boxy charm was the bomb i was so excited so this is august's boxy charm and i'm going to open it um it's 21 dollars a month and i'll li leave my code or whatever below not my code my link and if i can find some kind of coupon code i'll link it below too but okay here is oh my gosh here is the box and they always have a theme and so august theme was beach babe this month we're channeling our inner beach babe okay by the way y'all it is 9 30 and i'm just getting home so it's been a long day um so yeah you get this oh and it tells on the back of the card the products that you get and the amount of the full priced item so i'm gonna tell y'all that as i go like always but the first thing i saw when i just opened this was this brush and it is a morph morph morphe morph brush the s19 and it says this is 19.99 and it's a powder brush awesome oh my goodness it feels so soft it feels like the it cosmetics brushes like it's that soft yes i love that so it's kind of small for a powder brush like when i think of powder brush i think of like a big one like the sigma one but I might could even use this. You could use this to bronze up your face even. Okay, so I'll try that out and let y'all know. The next thing is an Ofra lip liner in the color Maya. Never heard of that brand. So, oh, this is pretty. This is a very pretty um, burgundy-ish red color for the fall. It looks, it, I really like it. Kind of reminds me of Max Half Red. Let's see. Let's compare it. Watch, shall we? Yeah, this is half red. Oh, girl, please. I'm not even close to it. There is half red and there's the Maya. So it's definitely a lot redder than this other one. But I will definitely use that. Okay, the next thing is by... Oh, this... So professional, huh? This lip liner is... $13 and this is the full size. So we've already paid for our box essentially. This next thing is by Enter Pronoun and it says Blowtorch on it. I don't even, oh, it says bronzer on the back. Ooh, fancy schmancy packaging, eh? Um, this is $35 and this is the full size. Wow. Okay, let's look at it, y'all. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. I don't know. Let's feel it. Looks like a, a, a bronzy shade, Avi. Um, it's kind of on the orange side, so I don't know if it would be good to use as a contour, but this packaging is so fancy. Okay, so the next thing is a Model Company or Model Co. Um, I have got this before. I don't know. I think it was like in an Ipsy bag. Cheek and Lips. Cheek and Lip Tint in Rosy Red, and this is the full size, and it's $22.00. Gosh, this box is the bomb. Oh, isn't it so cute? It looks like the little Becca beach tints. So let's see here. It looks like it's going to be a hot fuchsia pink, girl. Um, Did this really just happen? I just squared it out and it looks black. It seriously looks black. That's so funny. But, oh, how pretty. It shears out to a very wearable shade. Wow, and it feels very nice. My AC just kicked on, if y'all hear that loud noise. I really like that. It looks pretty sheer, so you might have to put something over it. But it says cheek and lip, lip tint. So I'll try it on both, and I'll let you know. I always let y'all know in my Friday favorites when I try this stuff. And the last thing in the box is by Tarina Tarantino. I have got something from them before. It says a conditioning lip sheen in the color watermelon wow this is 
this is very heavy feeling. I've never had a lip product from Tarina, Tarantina. I'm not even sure where, good Lord. I'm not even, I'm like ripping it open. I'm not even sure where they sell. <gasps> Are you serious with that little diamond packaging? That, look at that. That is the cutest darn thing I've ever seen with the diamonds. Oh my God. I love, love, love this packaging. I haven't even looked at the color yet, but okay. First of all, see the color right here? It looks like it's gonna be like a pinky watermelon color. And then it's like a mauve. So weird. Okay, let's swatch it next to, ooh. It is gorge with that liner. Oh my gosh, I love it. You know what? I'm gonna put this on. I'm not gonna worry with the liner, but I am gonna put this on so y'all can see it on my lips. Well, let's see how it applies. Oh my gosh. This feels so, this feels so good. Okay, it looks, I'm not putting it on good. But this feels so good on my lips. I'm not even kidding. Like compare, before I had on MAC, um, Viva Glam, Nikki, the corally one, that's what I was wearing a while ago. And compared, oh my gosh, this feels so good. It almost feels, like a balm. Mm. Yes. I really, really, really like this lipstick. I will definitely be wearing this for sure. So it doesn't feel like a real long wearing lipstick just because it's so moisturizing, but it feels really good on my lips, honestly. So that is my box. Oh, let me tell you how much that lip sheen, it says it's a conditioning lip sheen. That was the full size and it's $22. It's, it's a lightweight, that um, leaves your lips hydrated. I definitely feel like they, they are, it's a hydrating lipstick. That's what I'm trying to say. As you can see, you definitely get your money's worth. And I think I can safely say that BoxyCharm is now my favorite subscription service. I love it. I love it so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye. Rewind. I just went and washed my hands off, my swatched hands off. Let me just tell you that this Model Co. Cheek and Lips thing, if I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it definitely stained my hand, and I scrubbed and scrubbed it, so that's cool. I haven't used it on my cheeks, obviously, but I did want to put that in there before I quit, before I put my camera away for the night, so yeah, obviously it does, you know, stain a little bit.